Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to divide this lovely rational expression. So what I have is 35 divided by n minus 8 divided by 1 divided by n minus 8. So remember, when we're dividing fractions, let's go back to a similar example. Let's say I want to divide 3 fourths divided by uh, 1 fifth. All right? Now, another way to write a division problem is you could write it like this. 3 fourths divided by 1 divided by 5. Right? And one thing when we're dividing fractions by fractions, right? One thing you always want to look at is, well, we can't divide a fraction by a fraction. It's like double, we have like double, triple division going on here, right? It's kind of crazy. But what I can do to get rid of my fractions is I can multiply by the reciprocal. And whatever I multiply on the bottom, I have to multiply on top. And what you notice is when dividing these fractions, a number multiplied by its reciprocal goes to 1. But what happens is when you look up here, 3 fourths times 5 5 over 1. So really, instead of dividing by a fraction, you can also multiply by its reciprocal to get your answer. And that's a lot of times kind of the shortcut that we just tell students to work on. If I'm dividing two fractions, just reciprocate your divisor and then multiply. And that's exactly what we need to do here. So for this problem, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reciprocate my divisor and I am going to, that's not division, I'm going to reciprocate my divisor and multiply it across. Okay, now remember when you multiply across, you multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. However, I'm not going to use my distributive property here. Um, I'm just going to leave this as 32 times n minus 8 all over n minus 8 times 1. Because what I can see here is I'm dividing n minus 8, which is the exact same expression as n minus 8. Any number or any expression divided by itself is going to equal 1. And 1 times anything is just going to leave you with that anything. So therefore, I'm left with 32 divided by 1, which is going to represent just 32. So there, you don't really need the equal sign in there. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we're really doing when we're simplifying. Just make sure you flip and reciprocate, multiply across, and then uh, simplify. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.